What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have a really awesome tool that has been filtering around Discord, Reddit, and everything. There is a event simulator for you guys to use in this event for the, uh, the lottery event, the scratch-off ticket event. That actually makes this very, very easy to do. Even if you do have some okay, decent strategy like I was talking about the other day, uh, this simulator is going to be what you really need to use. And I'm gonna show you guys that here on one of our accounts and see how it turns out because it supposedly turns out very, very well. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump right into it. If you guys are wondering where the simulator is, first link in the description. <laughs> So here's how this is going to go. In the Merry Carnival, we know you can purchase up to 20 of these, which is very important. And then starting this can get a little tricky, but I wanna show you guys something right away because essentially what you're going to be doing is you're gonna be inputting and selecting these here so you can pick whatever you want. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is again, go down to the description down below. You're going to go up to here. I'm just gonna show you full screen. It's gonna get very bright. Is very white and we're gonna put the numbers in essentially of what we got on our board right now so we're gonna do one and nine now what you're gonna do is hit calculate here and it's gonna tell you guys what the different options are for the different angles you can see like this first column here is what the chances are to get these right here and this is gonna give you guys a really really good chance to find the best stuff now of course you're still going to have to come into game here uh, and figure out which ones of these you want to be getting here. So ultimately you want to get a six. If any of these combinations can come up to a six, that's really what you want to get. Um, and it does show you how many flags you have. So you don't even have to reference this here. So basically what happens is uh, you kind of look around and you're like, okay, well, which one has the best chance to get us the best loot? It looks like it's going to be this first column here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna, we wanna do this first column, it looks like. This has the chance to get us the best loot. Ends up giving us 144. So you can see that's one of the options there. Is it foolproof? Absolutely not, but we're gonna do this again. So we're gonna go like here, 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 and we're gonna get these numbers again. So we're gonna go five, seven, four, two. So we have to reset it. Five, seven, uh, what was it, four, two? Then we take this one out we recalculate this again and one more time we are going to see what the best result potentially can be it looks like there is a chance for this one here to be 1680 uh so we kind of want to do this here again because there is the two and it tells you basically uh what your average is going to be so basically you just kind of want to pick the column that has an average that is best uh, and in this situation, it is the straight across row. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to hit confirm. We're going to see what we get. 180. So you can see you're there, 180. We were potentially going to get 278. <laughs> not too bad. It's not foolproof, of course. And uh, probably picking specific ones might give you a better chance at telling you what the numbers are going to be. So again, you can just hit reset. We go four, not 45, four, one nine and then down here we got a six calculate that out once again and again you get two columns that look like are the best options 229 229 they look like they are identical and that's mainly just because of the number that we have there's still going to be some strategy i think and look based on what numbers you pull technically uh so like in this situation i'm going to go here we got 420 so we got one of the better ones which is really really good let's do this again i think maybe picking the middle number is probably overall gonna be one of the best options you can do. And then potentially picking some of the corner numbers might help you guys figure out the numbers a little bit better. So two, eight, was it one, nine? Yeah, one, nine, and then we're gonna calculate again. Uh, so it looks like this column right here has the best chance to get the best loot, which is gonna be the diagonal because it already has the four, it, or at nine, it has the eight. So we can grab that right there. We only got 51. So it's not a foolproof plan, but it's definitely something that is going to be potentially good for, uh, I guess I could say guessing what the best options are. Now, this one is interesting. Let's, let's do this one here. <coughs> Sorry guys, really early in the morning for me here today, five and nine. So we're gonna go five, nine, calculate it. 
So it looks like the diagonal here is again probably one of the best chances, but there's none of them that have the really, really good loot potentially here. So we're going to go for the cross. And hey, we got 48. So is this guaranteed to get you what you want? Absolutely not. Um, but it can tell you guys which ones are like the best chance. And that might help. Let's do a few more of these and see if we can get any better luck here, maybe. And again, a lot of this, you can statistically hope for the best, but at the end of the day, you might still just get bad luck off of this because I guess picking the numbers is still going to be very, very important. And you can go by the odds and be like, well, this is by far the best category. All these other ones absolutely suck. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight across. But you never know. You might end up with a worse result or you might end up with a very, very good result. So let's see what these look like here. We nine, five, four, eight, four, five, nine, eight, four, five, nine. We're going to calculate that out. And eight, four, five, nine, eight, four, five, nine looks correct. Most of these are pretty even here. So sometimes you get some boards unlocked that are just really shitty. Like there's just, there's no way to get the crazy high amount. Uh, and you can see here, there's two that seem decent. Uh, this has the potential for the highest one. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the bottom row here. 120, not the best. Uh, but yeah, just using this as a guide can probably help you guys a ton to decide what you need. One, nine, three, six, one, nine, three, six, calculate it out. Uh, in this case, it looks like the left column is going to be the best chance at the best average. And we got 48 instead of, we literally got the worst one, like literally the worst one out here. I wonder if there's different strategies you can do. Like what happens if you just unlock stuff in a row? So you automatically know some more information. So seven, four, five, one, seven, four, five, one. I wonder if it's better just unlocking an entire row to really get a better look at things. So here it's saying we want to go for this row and 42, not very good. <laughs> so as much you, it really comes down to what you guys also do with this information. I have to say, uh, one, two, nine, five, one, two, nine, five. But it's nice that we actually have a simulator for this. Uh, it looks like most of these are all garbage on this one. Like really, these are bad really this is a really bad board uh i guess we go with the guaranteed 180 that is the one nice thing is if you do unlock one column you can at least see what the guarantee is it's so like doing something like this gives you probably really good odds because you got two numbers here you got two numbers here and it probably gives you a better chance so like four one six Three, it does give you like a guaranteed column. So, you know, this is a guaranteed 34. That's definitely not one you go for. But now we see the cross here is really, really good. Chances are probably going to be garbage. Yeah, 280. Still good, though. Still not bad. Uh, I think I kind of like this strategy better. Doing something like this where we get multiple rows that have multiple options. We go seven, three, one, nine calculate that out you can see our row is only giving 34 which is not good and in reality going for this one is most likely the best benefit look at that we got 420 so you can go through this and you can try to get as much as possible but again there's still going to be some times that you are going to low roll so again i'll leave the first link down in the description this is hey mk i think is his name is the one that uh, he's the one that makes a lot of these simulators so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully it helps you guys out and i'll see you guys next time